going to give an example of a function that's not differentiable anywhere, uh, and that is f of z equals the conjugate of z. So take the limit of f of z minus f of z naught over z minus z naught, which equals the limit, and maybe I should really spell this out a little bit more, um, make it a little bit prettier. This is limit as z goes to z naught still. And now, through a change of variables trick, uh, we can make this a little bit nicer. I'm going to let w equal z minus z naught. Why would I do that? Well, if I do maybe one more line, a fact about conjugates is that if you subtract two conjugates, that's like subtracting them first and then doing the conjugate. And now, I can do my change of variable. I'm going to take a limit. This is w conjugate up top, and on the bottom I just have w. And what happens as z goes to z naught, w goes to zero. So limit as w goes to zero of, uh, of w conjugate, uh, yeah, w conjugate over w. Uh, this we can figure out pretty easily. Um, for instance, uh, I'm going to look at two different directions. I'm going to look at, first of all, I'm going to approach along the real axis. If this is the case, then limit as w goes to zero of w conjugate over w is equal to the limit as w goes to zero of, let's write this as x plus i y, except y is equal to zero here, conjugate over x plus i y, but y again is equal to zero. So equals limit, well, x is the only thing that matters, so x is going to zero, of x conjugate over x, when you take on the zeros, the conjugate of x is just x, so you get x over x, which equals simply one. So as I approach from the, from the right or from the left, kind of horizontally, I get one. If I approach vertically in either direction, I can take the limit as w goes to zero, of w conjugate over w is equal to limit as w goes to zero of, well this time I have zero plus i y because there's no real part and I need to conjugate the top. Well, conjugate the top, oh and the limit may as well be as y goes to zero because that's the only thing that matters as y goes to zero, w does go to zero. Top gives me negative i y and the bottom gives me i y which gives me negative one. In particular, notice that these two directions are not equal. So the derivative, the alleged derivative, changes whether you approach horizontally or vertically. And so I don't know what happens if it comes diagonally or in any sort of weird way, but I don't need to know. The derivative is not the same if you come in two different directions. That means that this function is not differentiable. That, that is the function w uh, conjugate over w is not differentiable. The limit doesn't exist. But that came from this function's derivative. So this is not differentiable anywhere. Because if it were differentiable to z naught, I could find w equal to z minus z naught, and then I would be able to get that this one exists, which is ridiculous, because it doesn't. Thank you.